Namaste and welcome to this video. Well, do your students trouble you a lot when you teach online or even when you are physically teaching them? Are they a cause of distraction? Well, let me help you today with something very interesting and uh, at the end of this video, I am sure you are going to feel so relieved that yes, now you have something in hand to overcome this distraction. Well, you must be definitely wondering how to put an end to this. Hi friends, I am Roma Joshi, fondly called Roma Math by the teachers whose lives I have touched so far. And today I am going to take you through this brief session and help you to find a solution to your issue. I am going to share three very handy tips with you right away. Want to know what they are? Well, I am also equally eager to share them with you. Tip number one, attention grabbers. Now what are attention grabbers? You know sometimes when you are doing something different, suddenly people just you know, turn and stare at you. Well, why do they do that? You grabbed their attention. So, this is very simple uh, teachers. You just need to find that one moment uh, through which you can have all the eyes of your students on you. Now, this is something which you will have to work towards and discover for yourself and I would really be happy to see you sharing your ideas in the comments. Tip number two is energizers. So where do we get our energy from? Good question, isn't it? Think about it. How do you generate energy in your body? Just the way as you do it, you can create energizers for your class and see that you energize your students at regular intervals so that they don't get bored in your class and they are all ears, all eyes and all brains with you for those 40 or 45 minutes that you teach them. Tip number three, using hand signals. Now, when you want to convey something and you know that your children are not going to listen to your voice, you start making different hand signals for them and educate them about the hand signals. So, I'll give you an example. If I want to say your time is out, I would just do this. So, this would mean that time is up, you need to now settle down in class. Uh, this is just one example, you could create so many on your own depending on you know the kind of uh, audience that you have. Well friends, wasn't that absolutely simple? I think it is very simple. So get started, share your ideas in the comments. I will be waiting to hear from all of you with all those lovely, innovative, creative, different ways of handling distraction in your classrooms. So I will see you in my next. All of you stay safe, stay at home, don't venture out unless it is absolutely necessary. Take care of yourselves and hope to see you soon in my next video. Namaste. Won't you just stay?